Hi, this demo is going to cover SOBAR Disaster Recovery, which integrates Spectrum Protect, Spectrum Protect for Space Management, and Spectrum Scale, also known as TSM, GPFS, and HSM. Scale Out Backup and Recovery provides fast disaster recovery for your GPFS file systems. SOBAR consists of two sets of steps. The first set of steps has to do with the backup of the critical information. You're first going to have to make sure your space management is installed and that you've run either a pre-migrate or a migrate on all the files in the GPFS file system. You'll then do some information collection using the MMCR snapshot, which will create a file system configuration backup file and create a snapshot and file system image. And then finally, you use the MM image backup to back those files up to the Spectrum Protect server. If there is a disaster, in order to go about recovering your file system, the next set of steps you'll do includes, first of all, recovering from the Spectrum Protect server the configuration and file system images that you backed up in the first set of steps. You'll then go and create some files that have the NSD information and file system information in them. You'll extract the file system images from the backup and recreate the file system images. And then as a final step, you'll restart your HSM on the GPFS file systems. Let's go ahead and take a look at a demo of these two sets of steps. Here we have a Linux machine, which is part of a GPFS cluster. You can see the cluster over here. You can see the disks that are associated with this GPFS file system. And you can see that we have mounted the file system GPFS2. We have HSM active on this file system and we have migrated all of the files across already. We'll back up the GPFS file system configuration information with the MM backup command. The MM backup config command will capture information about the file system and the volumes that it's built on, and this will include things like block size, replication factors, number and size of disk, storage pool layouts, file sets, junction points, policy rules, quota information, and additional file system attributes. We'll kick off another uh, pre-migrate just to make sure all files have either been migrated or pre-migrated out to the Spectrum Protect server. And now we'll do the MMCR snapshot of the GPFS2 file system. And this is going to be a global snapshot of the live file system. Now we'll back up the file system image and the MM image backup command will back up the image of the GPFS metadata from the file system using a parallel policy and it'll run it with the default Spectrum Protect backup client. Um, and the end result will be it'll basically back up the file system metadata image to the Spectrum Protect server. If you want to see which snapshots are around, you can issue the MMLS snapshot command. And here you can see we have this GPFS2 snap. Let's go ahead and delete that. Because we've already done the image backup to the Spectrum Protect server, we no longer need the snapshot hanging around. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and simulate a disaster and get rid of this GPFS file system. I'm going to unmount it from all the cluster nodes. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and delete the file system to simulate the disaster this is a test machine. Do not do this on a production machine. Okay, so now if I go out there and do a DF, I see that my GPFS2 file system is non-existent. So now we're going to go through the SOBAR restore. The first piece is retrieving the base file system configuration information. We're going to use the MM restore config command to do that. 
The information in the query result file is very important. This contains the NSD information as well as the file system information that we'll need for the next two steps. I've pulled information out of that and created an NSD file. You'll see in there I've uncommented the NSD information. And now I'll go ahead and recreate the NSD information. So in our case, because these virtual volumes are still out there, some of the information does not have to be applied. We're now going to recreate the base file system, and I've copied some of the query information into this file. And the, the key point here is this mmcrfs command, which exists in this file. And this is going to recreate the GPFS2 file system for us. So I'll go ahead and run a shell command to recreate those file systems. Now I'll go ahead and restore the essential file system configurations using the mmrestoreconfig command. It will prompt me for the server passwords for the different nodes in this cluster. Okay, now I'm going to mount the file system read-only. I need to find where the MM policy file is. This will be somewhere in the temp MMFS image directory. And there it is in 9055. And so now I can kick off the image restore. I can go ahead and display the restored file system structure. And now I want to re-add back in HSM. So I'll need to unmount that new file system. I'm going to restore the quota configuration. I'm going to be prompted for the passwords for the other servers in the cluster. Okay, I'm going to remount the file system, this time in read-write mode. I need to delete off the unusable HSM directory that was out there prior to the disaster. And this um, directory contains the stub files that were previously placed out there. So we've got to delete those so that we can re-migrate across and rebuild the stub files. We're going to restart HSM with the dsmmigfs restart command. Okay, we're going to resume HSM management on our newly reconstructed GPFS2 file system by issuing dsmmigfs add GPFS2. And now I can verify the recovery. If I go into the GPFS file system and I do a dsmls-r on it, I can see all the different files out there and if they're migrated or local. In, in our case, we can see that all these files have status M, which shows that they're migrated. If I look at this particular test.doc, I can see that it has been migrated. But if I edit it, and I now look at its status, I can see that it's been recalled and that it's now a little bit larger because I edited it. So in summary, Spectrum Protect, Spectrum Protect for Space Management, and GPFS Spectrum Scale can work together to do a disaster recovery called SOBAR, Scale Out Backup and Recovery. This disaster recovery is a expedited recovery for your GPFS file systems. It does require that you have the space management installed and that you do backup the configuration files to the space manager server. If there is a disaster and that file system is corrupted or ruined, you can easily restore it 
by restoring the configuration files from the Spectrum Protect server, using those files to rebuild the NSDs and the file systems, and then rebuilding the file systems and the file system images, and finally recalling the migrated files that are being stored out on Spectrum Protect. Please also take a look at the videos that cover Spectrum Protect in, in backup with Spectrum Scale and that cover Spectrum Protect for space management with Spectrum Scale. Thank you.